to another video today going to be taking a look at the Forza Horizon 5 map a bit like we did with the Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown um, looking at Hong Kong Island on Google Earth um, but today going to be focusing on this image of the summer uh, slash wet season uh, of the Forza Horizon 5 map so obviously this was unveiled a little while ago uh, some last week um, so you've probably already seen it but this is the first chance I've kind of had to look at it in more detail um, so this is going to be more about some of the interesting bits of the map, some of the bits I'm most looking forward to, and my kind of thoughts on the map rather than telling you about it, um, because you've probably all already seen this image and had time to look at it. So uh, I'm going to start with the map size. So it is the biggest map yet, one and a half times the size of the Horizon 4 map, um, which was the biggest previously. I know a lot of people seem to think, or some people seem to think Horizon 3 was the biggest, um, it wasn't. Horizon 3 was 37.53 square miles and Horizon 4 was 44.40 square miles. So this is 1.5 times bigger than Horizon 4, or no, it's 1.5 times Horizon 4, so it's 66.60 square miles. So quite a bit more of an increase than we've had from 3 to 4, although it looks kind of bigger and emptier, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but like there isn't a city the size of Edinburgh or Surface Paradise or anything, but anyway. So one of the things I particularly like about this is the variation, a bit like Horizon 3, and I hate to use Forza's marketing word, but it's a very diverse map. So Forza Horizon 4 obviously had a bit of a lack of variety being set in England, um, but yeah, we've got two coastlines, which obviously we had a coastline in Horizon 3, so we've got two beaches, we've got cities, we've got a little kind of town down here, city up here, we've got beaches, we've got many different biomes, um, so it's split into different biomes which will have different weather conditions and climates, um, which will constantly change, which I think is going to be quite interesting. So yeah, quite varied, obviously we've got a deserty bit over here towards this beach, we've got rainforests, we've got mountains, we've got beaches, we've got cities, so yeah, it's going to be quite interesting and um, the variety will be very interesting after Horizon 4, which had a lack of variety. Um, it was a good map, but it after a while it gets, uh, it kind of, you lose interest in it more quickly than you do in Horizon 3, for example. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at some of the bits that are of interest. Um, so let's start with La Gran Caldera. Obviously we've seen this uh, in a lot of the trailers, um, seen footage of cars driving, I think we've seen sort of buggies driving around here particularly, um, around this bit of dirt road, but it's quite interesting. So we have the tarmac road coming up this side, winding its way up the mountain, and then we have the dirt road coming down this side. So this side very much, I think we saw some cars drifting down it. It kind of reminds me of the Fortune Island drift road, which I guess it's very similar to that. That's, well, <laughs> but yeah, it's nice to have a, a drift road or a twisty mountainous road because we've never really had that in a base map before. We've had it in expansions but it's never been included in the base map so that's kind of cool to see. Um, there are a number of race tracks and drag strips as well so we have this one here which we've seen in the mini map in quite an early trailer and people have been trying to figure out which track it is. So we've got this circuit here which is apparently on a festival site which has its own drag strip. So that's one drag strip. I've found another one down here. So two. There's one here. So we've got three at least. And I suspect we'll have an off-road one somewhere. So either this bit of road, it's dead straight and a dirt road. So there's possibly one here. Or I think we might have a beach drag race like we did on Horizon 4. But that would have to be up here on this side, I think. So we've got at least... We've got three tarmac drag strips at least, possibly more, um, and there's some nice bits of straight road that could potentially be used for drag racing. Maybe maybe this will be a drag race route across this bridge, um, or maybe there'll be a highway one like on Horizon 4, probably. Um, but yeah, actual airstrips slash drag strips, there seems to be three, one of which is at the festival, which is very interesting. So as well as that, we have the stadium as well, obviously. Um, we've seen Events Lab being kind of showcased in there. So hopefully it's not the only place we can make Events Lab events, otherwise it's going to be quite a limited game mode and everyone's going to lose interest very quickly. Um, 
So hopefully there's more to it than that and we can build levels well, over here on the volcano or something, or in the cities. Um, which, yes, brings us on to the cities. Obviously we've got Guanajuato up here, which is, I've probably pronounced wrong, but anyway, that's the main city in the game. Um, obviously we had Edinburgh before and Surfer's Paradise in um, Horizon 3. So that's the main city. There's a little town down here, and I think there's a, li there's a little town on this coast as well. So a bit like Horizon 4, we've got one big city and a few kind of towns and villages around the place, um, which is quite interesting. And yeah, as well as we come quickly back to racetracks, this one here, um, I, this, I might be wrong, but I think this is like a dirt racetrack slash arena kind of thing down here near the dunes. Um, the dunes are going to be very cool as well. Had those in Horizon 3, which were great fun to sort of just launch your car at and see it fly through the air. Um, so that's quite interesting. Um, got this bit down here, which we saw some of the buggies at, I think, um, which is a nice scenic bit of beach. Reminds me very much of, of Horizon 3. Um, another thing I found, I'm not sure how interesting this is, but there's a there's a little cable car symbol here, so I don't know whether this goes... If it starts here at the bottom and goes up to the top, this hotel at the top of the hill, and we can race it up this little windy road. Um, I talked a bit about that in the test drive video as well, um, because there was a possibility of them including a little cable car. Um, but it's actually on the map, so maybe that'll be a showcase event or something, which would be very cool. Um, we've also got the Copper Canyon down here. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, I do think you should go in and zoom in at some of these because it's quite interesting finding out kind of what's here a bit like this main motorway down here so yeah um moving on to the motorway in fact uh yeah it starts right the way down here it goes all the way all the way up here and it is the longest uh included so far i assume they mean just the like dual carriageway bit um for example horizon 4 kind of i think is roughly the length from the start to almost to this spaghetti junction but it kind of wobbles a bit this is a much straighter road it's got some corners but not to the degree horizon falls would kind of dip down like this i think um so that's quite interesting and i know a lot of people thought this bridge was going to be um on that motorway the one we saw the defender driving under i think the defender drove under it and then discovered this um temple down here which is on this bit of the map um, but a lot of people kind of speculated that would be on the highway but it's not it's sort of its own it's a bit weird because there's a kind of wobbly road and then a high speed bit over the bridge but anyway that's there and isn't part of this um, but yeah it is nice to have a longer bit of road to test the cars out on and i think these drag strips are possibly longer than we've had in horizon 4 i don't think we had a mile long tarmac one which I think that might be. So that's quite interesting. Um, there's also, <laughs> I found, um, or on the subject of bridges, there's a dam here, so I can get thrown off that by splitter in a DRS race. That'll be fun. Um, if we do a <laughs> repeat of that, I need to make a route that goes over there if we get a custom route creator, maybe around here. <laughs> There are still roundabouts, even though we're not in the UK as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to now, quickly, now that I've pointed out some of the bits I've spotted, let's start in the top corner and just make our way across slowly so you can see if there's anything I've spotted. There's a satellite array like we had in uh, Horizon 3. Yeah, see if there's anything I've missed. And there's more sort of areas of interest um, dotted about the coastline down here we've seen footage of i think this is where the um hurricane was driving around um we scroll down there's another temple area here so this thing of discovering temples is a bit of rubbish really because i i already know where they all are um <laughs> hopefully there will still be barn finds for us to find um there's sort of other bits dotted around here um areas of interest but yeah i think that will i i'm going to predict that will be a drag strip and there'll be one on the highway as well Um, but yeah, I think that probably is going to do it for a sort of 
slightly more in-depth look at the map and um, giving my thoughts and opinions on what I think it's going to be like. Uh, I do think it's um, looking quite good. I love how varied it is, how diverse it is. Sorry to use that word again. And it reminds me a lot of Horizon 3. Maybe slightly less. There's less kind of desert than I was expecting slash hoping for um, based on Horizon 3. But yeah, it feels very Horizon 3, um, definitely with some of these areas and how big and open it is, which makes sense. Um, that's kind of one of the similarities between Mexico and um, Australia, I guess. Um, big open landscapes, but yeah, it kind of feels like there's a bit of Horizon 2 thrown in there, particularly in this middle section, um, with this sort of some of these fields feeling slightly like that European map. Um, but those are my two favourite Horizon games, so that's quite a good start, I guess. Um, except, unlike those, it's got two coastlines, because one definitely wasn't enough in the previous games. Um, but anyway, as always when I make a video about this game or about um, Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown, I do look forward to hearing more. Um, obviously we've had the map unveiled, which is the world we're going to be driving around. Um, we haven't had the map for Solar Crown, well we sort of have, because we know it's going to be one-to-one -one scale, so we sort of know. Um, but yeah, it kind of makes it feel more real now we know the world we're going to be exploring in this game. Um, really isn't that long till it comes out now actually, so yeah. Do look forward to hearing more when there is more news and yeah like i say i'm more excited for it now that the map is here um but yeah it'll be a nice change from horizon 4 but that probably is going to do it for today's video so i hope you've enjoy enjoyed it despite it being a slightly delayed video on the map and yeah i look forward to hearing more soon but that is going to be all for today's video so thank you very much for watching and i will be back with the next video very soon mm -hmm.